Hmm. Okay. Galio. Um. Holy bear. Sure. He's gonna try to go Titanic with his Galio most likely. Turn two could be good. Since I have this on turn two, should be fine. Instead of I'll probably keep Asmus as well though as a good turn three unit. Sure. Okay, Bard. So it's a, a good four drop. I can attack with him if I play more chimes if I want to. And when he flips, you know he's gonna go bonkers crazy. I'll just pass here. Most likely gonna be playing the backpack here. I uh, know the backpack, uh, the landmark here. Not a bot is fine, I guess. Every and the ramp sculpture. Kind of wanna play the unit, but I think I'd rather play a landmark here. Don't really mind the two damage anyway. Where's my hammer? I'm fine just passing. Pass. Draw something would be great. Um, oh, that's a one drop. I guess I'll gladly play play it, and I'll play Asmus as well to make it to a three two if I want to attack with him. But we'll see. Hmm. All okay. Right, Another Ram Sculpture. That's not problematic. So now all of his formidable units are gonna get plus two plus two. I'm most likely doing this though. Why not? Slowly leveling Bard as well because you actually need the buffer unit to flip Bard. I'll be drawing two cards. Hopefully, I just hit one chime or some bursting backpack so I can use either imperfections to print the card as well. This is fine. Two chimes, okay. So, a few more chimes would be great. No chimes, my Baluti is good up on six. I can play Bard here, sure. It's a 4 7, so it's a pretty good stat. Uh, is it now? I'll pass here. He's almost like gonna play another formidable unit. If he doesn't, that's still fine by me, by the way. Oh, he does attack. Okay, I'll just block him from here. And I'm gonna play Bard here. It's pretty tanky, he has a 4-7. Okay. Commit. So that unit is gonna become a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's gonna kill off Bard. That's not good. I think I just reshuffle this Bard then and just draw a card and see what I draw into. Asmus. I guess I'll just play this Asmus then, so I can get another chime into my top deck. Best Bursting Backpack, or Janna, or Landmark. Would be great to have them so I can just draw more cards. That's Janna, okay, let's go. Oh. It's a 4-6 now, doesn't really matter, let's be honest, right? Because it's just gonna die afterwards, but sure. If he has like a single combat, it dies definitely. I could try to just go attack like this for sneaking the 1 damage, I guess, the password priority. Since I'm not gonna attack with Jano anyway, I should just do this for level bot. 14 out of 20, he's pretty close actually. 16 chimes. I can play Jano, I can play Maduli on turn 6, that'd be pretty good. Sure. I think I don't need you and you for now. It was easily we shuffle them. If Jenna dies to a single combat, you know it is annoying, but it is what it is. She also still dies to brawling attacking if he lands on pulling her. Darkness Spear, yep, pass. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, just you again. Oh, that's Maduri. Most likely gonna play the cheaper Maduri then, huh? Oh, come on, you hit this one. Of course, hit this one, man. It's gonna attack, it's gonna pull Jenna, sure. It's fine by me. I think I'll just block with the 2 3 and we should be fine. Oh, you could develop another the 4 cost 4 4. Doesn't, okay. So I'll just block like this and commit. And play this Maduli. I think I'll shuffle back the Mystic Lord as well, right? Since I don't need ping spells just yet. Or should I go for it next round? I should pl play Maduli again and then go for you to draw. Since I'm gonna be doubling my chimes as well, right? If that makes sense. Probably. Eh, uh, sure. So okay, you can play Volley Bear on turn 8, basically. So that's not concerning. So round 6, can play, oh, more draw, okay, let's go, 4 times, sure, okay, it's this one, let's go. So I can double again, let's go, and go you to draw the chimes, most likely the shuffling mystic shot here. 78 chimes, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, Galio, okay. I'll, oh, Galio could flip though, which is kind of concerning, but uh, we'll try our best to try to upstat him, actually. Oh, that's a landmark, actually. I also hit Bard, thank you. It's a 9-12 now, um, sure, I guess. He's gonna rally next turn though, which is kinda concerning. I'm probably attacking like this, why not? Just uh, you know, buff I guess. Yeah, he might rally actually. Only, only, I only have one big unit. Hmm, this might be a problem, we'll see though. Round 8. That's fine I guess, more time, thank you. Hits Bard, was hoping to hit like the Bowringer actually, so I can have like decent units to play, but sure. I guess I will just play Bard into you, so I can just draw cards and buff on my board if I can. We'll see though. Attack. I guess he's gonna use this to pull like Asmus or maybe. Sure. 
I always just use this as to block the 12 12 definitely so I block like this I block like this I usually block you and you should block you I will go for this now but I think I want to go for this when bards on board right so you can actually buff up the units on board um, if that makes sense I could also just go for something like this just kill that formidable unit off I think this is safer if he has a buff spell that is annoying but it should be fine yep thank you so I still have 3 units to get buffed by bard by the way so I always just play bard, there's no way he runs very nice right, hopefully so he's a 13-6 I'll just go for you to buff something for 2 damage and also hopefully hit some chimes to buff up my board I'm most likely going you as well why not so I have more units to buff with the chime He's gonna pull Bard I guess if he wants to with Port Ring most likely So I won't use Bard to block his Galio if he wants to Okay, sure I'm just gonna use Bard to block your Galio though Yeah, he needs to pull that if he doesn't want to die I guess Because if I just kill off his Galio then he doesn't have an infinite ready So I'll just do this, draw more cards And Mr. Drifter, good to see you Hit down time, let's go Oh, there's another Maduli, let's go for more chimes bro So, oh, you're wasting on one attack though sadly Well, it is what it is I guess I should just use you block you use you block you use you block you use you block you yeah commit here I think I'll just play Mr. Drifter here right should be pretty safe he's a pretty big unit after all he's a 9 uh 12 body bear is flipped so if he plays body bear next turn could be a bit of a problem but we'll see but it's still on board by the way, so as long as I draw chimes consistently, he'll just buff up my board as well. I'm gonna play Maduli, so I'm gonna have 100 plus chimes. And if I just draw into more draw, we should be okay, so I can actually draw into the chime. That's fine. Pass. So he just needs another like big threat, like a champion strength or a body bear. Body bear would probably be the best for him. Draw cards. Oh, that's not that bad, I guess. Actually, it's not a draw card, it's actually probably the worst one. Uh, let's go Maduli. I actually kinda wanna go Evil Imperfectionist into Sunken Temple, but. I think I just go for Manduli at this point, right? It's just a good stat that unit. Oh, that's what you wear. Please, uh, kill this unit, sadly. Resolve here. I could go for a Bard attack, but I'm kind of worried that he just buffs the health from Galio and then Galio just kills off Bard. Then I can't, because I kind of need Bard to be alive, so he could buff up my board. If that makes sense, I just need to draw into draw cards now. So he's flame, he's gonna give everyone oh well, I mean he's gonna play Relentless Storm endlessly, so we gotta oh that's amazing actually. Five chimes as well, okay, not that bad I guess. So I could ping this for two and could stun okay, that's pretty good for me. So I ping you and I stun you so he doesn't get the relentless storm. Yep, that's most likely gonna be the play here. He and also I prop Galio to rally here, so he can't rally again. Yep, so the pack is done, so he only gets one attack token. He could go champion strength here, which is kinda annoying. Wow, can you can you stop? Can you stop having like assistant stuff? Okay, you block you. Um Actually I should be fine to play Sunken Temple, right? Yep, let's just play it. I think I'm fine here actually, to be honest. But most likely does die here though, which is kinda sad. I I think I could just trade Mr. Drifter, right? I think I'd rather let Mr. Drifter die than Bard itself. Justice. So I have Galio, sure. He doesn't make good trades at all with his other formidable units since I have Bard, okay. I can honestly tank no way, there's no way I can tank the 14 damage because if Volley Bear just attacks and he plays the Red Lantern Storm on my face, that's just annoying in general. I could do this to just to kill off Bard, I guess. Uh, kill off Galio. Probably not a good idea though. I think I'd rather just tank the whole damage and just damage Galio a bit, sure. Sadly, Mr. Thrifter had to die here, but you know, it is what it is. Pass. I just needed to draw into more draw. Please, game, come on. So Jenna is draw I guess, it's chimes sure. Oh that is definitely draw, but I can't play him. Okay more draw, oh my god. Jenna is omega big now. I think I just reshuffle the landmark right, it should be the play actually. So I basically get to draw 3 cards and if the chime hits I should be fine. Unless he somehow just runs the 1 copy of very nice and he just wins here. But I'm most likely just gonna- oh come on, oh wait no. Is that enough? I'm pretty sure that isn't. He's forcing me to attack here, I'll just attack him. I make good trades against everyone, so he needs to block basically. 
I didn't want to attack, but you go for champion strength. I actually wanted to just at least try to draw three cards to see what I then you know hit more times, right? But if he's attack, if he's going champion strength, then I'm guess I'm forced to attack. Yep, GG. He could block, but only body bad would live, and then body bad would just you know be some tiny unit, and I'm just gonna draw three three units and hit more times. GG. Hmm. Aatrox win. Could be good. Uh, matchup maybe. He might be playing slow wise. But it might be horrible if he just aggroes me down with this equipped unit and this endless tumble, so we'll see. Cosmic Bounding could be a good card, but whatever unit is gonna get stung, he's gonna use tumble onto that unit anyway, right? If that makes sense, so it doesn't really matter. I'll still play Mr. Drifter turn 1 though. Could play Asmus turn 2 or to Lamar turn 2. If I'm desperate for the draw, I think I play Mr. Drift. Uh, Cosmic. Uh, Mystic Vortex, right? I think I play Lamar here because I'm desperate for the draw. I have no draw power anyway. That's this though, okay, pretty lucky for him. So he's gonna equip it most likely, and then play Vaynox turn. No, oh, doesn't. Sure, fine by me. Sangan Temple is pretty good though, I will say that. Freaking, probably the best tree draw for him. I think I'll just play this in the Asmus here. I'm probably just using Asmus to block the blocking Badger Bear, right? Sure. Maybe top deck like a Janna would be great to start playing something, or a Bard at least, to play something. Now that is annoying. I'll pass here. I'll block and block. I'll pass. Top deck. Hopefully he doesn't get. Hopefully he doesn't have combat combo. If he has combat combo, that's really annoying. Oh, no unit. Wow. Really? Top deck unit, please. Come on. Okay. Ah. Hmm. I guess I shuffle Cosmic Binding and the Busted Backpack. I can't keep the, the lamb up because they are that good. Because you just get endless chimes. Oh, he has a scout unit though. I got stung bad, but if he has the vein, then he's gonna attack with her as well. And I asked sure. Give me Cosmic Binding. Oh, at least this is a one drop I can play him at least. So I can play this and Cosmic Binding at the same time because this got discounted. Annoying, but sure, I can stun that easily. I'll just play the 4 tree here. So I will just deal to the distance stun you. So this will go to the 4 4. I can just use the 4 tree to block that and we should be fine. Sadly, I won't be able to get value with the discount, but I need to stun that. I'm not taking 7 damage to base. Pass. He could have single combat though, or fish fight, which is annoying if he does go for those cards. Um, sure. So he gets an Aatrox here. Pass here. He's gonna attack with the tree too, I'm guessing. Yep. I guess I'll just tank the hit for now. There's no rush and pass back priority. You could play Aatrox next turn as well. Hmm. First thing backpack again? Sure. It's two of the chimes on the Asmus. One path kept ready. I think I just play Boasting Backpack and Talama. Yeah. The Esper is gonna get reshuffled, but it should be fine. Because I'm gonna drop that into other cards as well. That would be good. Oh my god, another one. Good buff by Dark and Spear. Both Scout Unit could buff by Dark and Spear. You gotta be kidding me, man. What's gonna give Dark and Spear onto the Scout Unit, isn't he? Yeah, it's gonna, so you can double buff my the, the cards in his deck. Good for you. Pass here, I guess. Hmm, that card does nothing. Cosmic Binding, okay, finally, something good. Boasting Backpack again, sure. I'm not even printing it, I'm getting it so consistently actually, kinda weird. More but do this. I guess I block finally, right? I could stun again, but if I stun, I won't be able to go my duty. I think I actually stun, weirdly enough, right? Maybe if I stun and he just plays Aatrox next time, it's gonna be pretty weird. I think I block and just commit here. Yeah, I think I can block and commit. I play you into Mr. Drifter first because he's technically the bigger unit. He's a 7 10, why not? Janna is almost flipped. She's 4 out of 6. This is, will be the 5th out of 6, so I just need to top deck like another unit, basically. He's always gonna play Aatrox here, I'm presuming. There's no way he doesn't. Oh, he plays dad. Um, the next time you summon an ally this round, get Challenger to it. Does that matter? I don't think it does. Um, should I play Maduli here? I kind of want to, just for fun. I'm kind of worried what spells could he have uh, to deal with Mr. Drifter over here. Yeah, let's just play Brigade Maduli here. Let's not think it through. Let's just be done for once, alright? Have some fun. He's pretty chunky as well, so he could just easily block the 5 6. Um, or Zolani. Eh, actually, not the worst, because I have a pre Giga Chat Mr. Drifter over here. So this should be fine. It's a pretty strong attack for him though. I'm most likely just blocking this. Use you blocking you to tank more damage. Use you blocking you to tank more damage. Use you blocking you to tank more damage. 
The freaking Wu is gonna get turbo discounted though, I will say that. Probably like a bot here would be amazing. Pass here. Because I can actually play the bot and start dropping my uh, units on my bot. That's not a bot, but that's a unit at least. Cosmic Binding <laughs> again, sure. Oh, that's a draw power, let's go. So I can draw an one as well. So one puff cap, sure. Don't think it really matters though. I'm just gonna play this and level Janna, I'm pretty sure. No, I need to play one more. Okay, so I play this, that would just flip Janna here. I'm not dead just yet, but I'm kinda worried if he plays Aatrox here and play Worm and... Okay, how much is the Wander? Oh my god, he's gonna play Wander next turn. Well, I'm dead. Not yet, but we'll see. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest I could try to just stun, um, pew, two damage to this. Okay, but Cosmic Binding will just disappear. Crap. If I do something like this, he could block with Zolani, but he's just gonna re equip Zolani into another unit, right? He's gonna have this got Akana, he's gonna pull out another unit as well. This is not looking good. I am just need to draw into the Cosmic Binding because this is gonna reshuffle with the Sangon Temple, which is not good for me. Let's just attack Janna here. Oh! I forgot blocking Badger Bear is a freaking. Ah, I misplayed. I forgot blocking Badger Bear is also a elusive blocker. Crap, I should not have attacked there. I should have taken a pass there. Now I technically missed out on the draw. What the hell is this? Yeah, I misplayed there. At least I killed off Solani, so that's something. Because that was gonna be a 7 7, I guess. But hopefully I top that into another Cosmic Binding would be great. So I can stun Aatrox. Because Aatrox is gonna pull this Janna, right? Because she's the weakest for now. Pass. Okay, so this is gonna be a Zolan. Maduli, yeah, it's not that's nothing. That's not an E bot actually. Oh, not a cost of binding. Oh my god, it's gonna go actually. Not a Maduli, sure. Let this draft go. Landmark as well, that's fine, I guess. I misplay so hard by attacking with Jan on that because I forgot that this is freaking elusive blocker. Oh bot here actually, let's go. So he's gonna get Aatrox flipped. I am most likely just gonna ping to the you and stun you. This is gonna have scout though, but it should be fine. I need to ping you first so you won't get um, Zolani out as well. I'm gonna play this Maduli to be a 23-25 blocker. This should... No, I'm not gonna die here most likely. Yeah, I'm not gonna die here just yet. I can actually live, which is kinda funny. So I need to go for this. I'm gonna play Maduli here into bar basically. Don't have something. Oh my god, he has something. This is so stupid. Can you stop having answers? Perfect answers, come on man. Let me win. So I need to play this one, this is because so I need to block the most damage and I need to play Bard as well. Oh yeah, I need to play Bard as another blocker. Because he has six health. He's misplaying, he doesn't realize it's a scout, so he can pull two units at the same time. Um okay. You block you. You block you. Um, you block you, you block you. That should work. Yeah, I think that's the safer. I need the Janna to be on in on board, right? So I can get the discount for my cards and draw even more cards, if that makes sense. I'm willing to add a block like this. I'm pretty sure there's no one mana card that could push damage, yep. He should attack with Sakana first, first of all. But I guess since I have a big unit, he just, I would've just used the, this uh, Maduli to block the Arcana. So I'll just play this. He's gonna have a lot of Dark so. He has four Zolanis in hand, I'm pretty sure, yep. Four Zolanis, this is this, this is not a problem, this is also not a problem. He's gonna get three 7-7s seven seven, though. I think I'm not gonna play this landmark for now, because I want the landmark to shuffle them so I can draw even more units. I have 216 chimes, okay. If I draw like an Asmus here and a chimes hit Asmus, we should be able to win the game, because he does have a lucid block now. That's not a unit, game, do something please. That's a unit, oh that's a spell. That's, that's a champion spell. Draw card, okay, that is a unit, let's go. It's this, okay. Oh, another one, okay, let's go. One puff cap, sure. I think I'll play... This, first of all. So I can give... No, wait. Yeah, I think I need to do this. So I do this, I give you attack, draw two cards. This is not elusive, give me elusive. But there's a lot of chimes, so I will say that. Okay, nah, that's not elusive though. So I gotta go for like a brick brain. Oh, he loses here. Okay, I thought he had unforgiving code there. Oh yeah, he had. Could he actually run unforgiving code? No, he's not. That's a. 
Um, he doesn't have access to that because he's only playing in Aatrox region. GG.